Welcome to Fernhill School. Under usual circumstances, we'd love to show you around our fantastic school in person, but due to the current situation, that's not possible. But I'm absolutely sure that this short video will give you a real flavour of the things we have to offer, both in terms of the range of subjects, the amazing facilities, and the wonderful students, staff and leaders we have in our fantastic school. I'm incredibly proud to be the head teacher of Fernhill School, a school that I've led now for just over two years. People go into headship for many, many different reasons. But the one thing I'd always had a burning desire to do was to make a difference to my local community. There is nothing better than leading your local school to greatness and seeing the impact that has on people who both come to school and live and work in the local area. The school has seen a number of improvements over the last two years, including an improving Ofsted profile, fantastic results and a growing reputation in the community. I want children to love coming to Fernhill School. I place great emphasis on the choices they make and encourage them to make the right ones. The ones that will take them to success at school and beyond and into their adult life. The best thing about Fernhill School is its small number of students, which allows us to have that small school ethos, but with the facilities of a much larger one as well, which allows them to enjoy coming here every day and benefiting from those opportunities both inside the curriculum and after school. I have high expectations of both my teachers and of our students, and I encourage them all to dream big. I'm incredibly proud of the enviable sports facilities here at Fernhill, including a huge sports field, which is packed every evening and every weekend with hundreds of young people enjoying their active life. We also have an incredible sports hall and a fantastic fitness suite. I truly believe in running a democratic school, and I listen to the views of students and take them very, very seriously and genuinely. Two years ago, the students asked me if they could have a fitness suite, and I was happy to oblige. We worked together to make that dream a reality. Here at Fernhill, I really enjoy it. Like I've been here for nine to ten years. I love um, obviously working in the art department. We ensure that all students have a wide range of um, projects that they can work towards, including like clay, printing, painting, drawing. We make sure they've got this wide range of skills and techniques that they can build up and then move into GCSE, photography and art. And at Fernhill, we're really lucky we still do photography. Um, in general, I just really love how the kids do really love art. It's a big option for students to take. We get really good results when it comes to our GCSEs and the students just enjoy coming to the lessons and producing really good work. I think art is my favourite subject because it really it really gives me a chance to be creative and just let loose with my feelings rather than just being like confined to like that small classroom where you just have to do what you're told. I like coming to Fernhill because the teachers are like brilliant and the subjects are really exciting. When I was looking for a school for my children, Fernhill wasn't the top of my list. However, upon visiting the school, um, it had a good feeling about it. I felt the teachers really knew uh, their students and it had a real warmth, uh, almost like an extension from home. I've been teaching now here at Fernhill for five years as lead practitioner in science. I've always enjoyed working here because of the nature of the school. It's very small, there's not loads of pupils, which means we can get to know their names and really get to understand them as people and help them learn effectively. The science department have some wonderfully new purpose-built labs. Um, about four years ago they were redesigned. Um, they all have interactive whiteboards. They have the, obviously the gas and the water. They have carbon dioxide alarms. They have everything that you could possibly need to run effective practicals and demonstrations. We've designed the performing arts curriculum so that it is as varied and exciting as possible. Um, music in particular, we go on to lots of different instruments during Key Stage 3, um, with a real focus on our new thing being ukuleles in Year 8, which students are loving. Um, we do lots of singing, um, because students absolutely love that, especially with the interesting karaoke. And outside of music lessons, we really um, have a wonderful uptake with the um, annual uh, performances, so we do um, concerts every term and we also do um, a performing arts production with the drama department as well. I've been really enjoying developing the geography curriculum at Fernhill to allow students to get a real connection with what's going on outside their window um, and we've been doing that by merging the real theoretical aspects of geography that they just need to know with some virtual field work that gives them a kind of real understanding of what's happening on the ground outside. So I have been a parent governor at Fernhill for just over three years 
Um, in that time, we have recognised as a governing body that we need to focus more on both student and staff welfare and have recently created a pastoral committee of which I am chair. I'm also a careers governor and work with the careers team here at Fernhill and um, that helps to give the children in year 11 the very best start for their move to further education or apprenticeships. Teaching across the school is strong and inspirational. We as teachers go the extra mile to support your children to achieve their goals. This in turn will result in them being well-rounded, resilient and inspired young people. And the key to all of this is working in partnership with you throughout your child's time at Fernhill. The pastoral system is very strong. Your child will have a form tutor, a student support worker and a head of year to support them right throughout their time at Fernhill. During the transition period in year six, key members of our staff, including the head teacher, will come and visit your children at the primary schools to really get to know them in preparation for their start at Fernhill in September. I like that there's like a friendly teaching staff and I'm able to learn but also have fun and not feel like I'm being bored by lessons because like I can get bored quite easily sometimes so it's good to like have engaging lessons. I think other children should come to Fernhill because you can get a lot more time to settle in with the teachers and they're really kind and supportive. I think other students could, uh, should come to Fernhill because it's a nice small school, people can know you better and there's a nice value of children you can play with in uh, the playground. I chose this uh, school for my son on a couple of things. Um, when we came to do the walk around, all the teachers knew everyone with their first name. So being a smaller school, it's quite important to me that everyone's got that personal touch. Um, I also chose this school for the academic side of it. So the maths, the English and the science, I had a look at how they were doing and it was very good. And my son's already excelling in most of those. Um, so he can hopefully follow his desire to be a pilot. Um, also the sports facilities here are great. They've got a really good indoor gym outside facilities for football and um, he's also on the tennis team here as well now so very good. This is a fantastic opportunity for the children at the school both boys and girls uh, to engage in a practical subject uh, when they get to year 10 so the start of year 10 uh, that enables them to shine in lots of different ways um, as either part of a team working independently um, or it gives them um, the chance to come out of their shells and grow in confidence when they're doing something that they love. Um, all the children, both boys and girls, love doing the course and it's always nice to see that at the end of it some of them choose to go on to do a higher level at college when they leave. The big advantage of that is they will have already have done a BTEC at school and most courses at college now are BTECs so they're aware of the sort of work that they're going to be taking on when they leave school. I think it's brilliant. Key objectives for food here at Fernhill is to give the students, right from year 7 to 11, a real insight into nutritious, simple, but cheap dishes to make, okay? We'll focus on both local, international, and national ingredients, just to give the students that real knowledge, that broad depth of knowledge about dishes they can hopefully take away from here and do at home. That's backed up certainly last year when our two year eight boys that took part in a competition based on local food. And because we have such a large Nepalese community here, they chose to do a Nepalese curry. It went down really well, impressed the judges, and ended up winning. So that was good sort of good justification for why we pick the dishes that we do. Ours is an increasingly popular school with ever-improving outcomes. It offers a fantastic experience for young people. I'm an open and honest head teacher, and I really value those warm relationships I have with parents. My mantra is: I may not always agree with you, but no one will ever go away from Fernhill without having felt truly listened to. I really look forward to welcoming you and your families to our fantastic school, firstly virtually and then personally in the very near future.